Let's see how to generate historical reports in CA Workload Automation iDash. First, click on Reports on the navigation bar. You'll see report options displayed based on the schedulers you have connected to iDash. Select the AutoSys Job Run Report. Next, enter your report name, the jobs to be included, and related job statuses and instances. Also indicate the time frame for the report and time zone and format details. After identifying what columns you want in the report and how to sort and display them, click on Create Report. Once you've created a report, you can modify, delete, or copy the report definition as needed. You can download the report in one of these formats. Let's click on HTML format to initiate a download. Here's the resulting report based on the parameters you selected earlier. You'll notice that each job completed successfully. Let's analyze an SLA that missed its deadline. Click on Explorer and use Advanced Search to pull up historical SLA runs. Now let's drill down to eu.d2.dailyrun.b.b that missed its deadline on 10-15-2015. Notice that the SLA used to complete before its deadline, but in the last three runs, it's been trending downward, missing its deadline by 4 minutes and 44 seconds. On analyzing the flow, you can see there is a latency between the jobs in the flow eu.fr.payfinalize.c completes at 1643, but eu.fr.runpayrollb starts at 1656. At this point, you can take corrective action to reduce the latency in the flow. When you generate an SLA trend report a few days later and view the resulting PDF, you notice that since you updated the flow latency on 1015, the performance of this SLA is now trending upwards. Be sure to view additional videos on SLA monitoring and SLA management.